OpenBSD 7.6 was released on October 8, 2024. This is this marks the 57th version of the OpenBSD. And it's called OpenBSD of TSS because since uh, the first OpenBSD commit, which is the fork of the NetBSD version 1, all the files in the repository has been either updated, modified, or replaced at some point in time. That means there is no untouched file from NetBSD. That's a milestone on its own, and it's an interesting milestone. So let's jump to the highlights of this release. We have the Qualcomm Snapdragon X uh, Elite support, and also Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge now can boot in the ACPI mode. I do not have the hardware, but maybe somebody who has tested it can actually shed some light in the comment section. What's the support status of Samsung Galaxy Book 4 on OpenBSD? On the AMD64, we have the implemented support for AVX512. And moving on to the kernel section, what we have the replacement of MCS call mechanism with M immutable and PINCIS calls. Also, we have we should get better uh, suspend and resume experience on modern hardware since some work has been done on S0. Uh, I yet have to find what exactly has been improved. I don't think I can reproduce it, at least on my side, because T480, the machine that I use, kind of has all this functionality in place right now. But the next point is something that I have experienced it myself, and that was when I used Fuse, sometimes my system was crashing. I thought that is a misconfiguration on my side, but it turned out to be a bug on the OpenBSD kernel, and that has been addressed in this release. Now, DRM site has been updated to Linux 6.6.52, and we have now also support for Meteor Lake hardware. On the VMM side, the highlight is the more exposure of the CPU features to the virtual machines, I do not believe that improves the speed of the virtual machines, but mainly in improves the compatibilities. So moving on to the user land, I have two highlights. One is the scan.dir function has been ported from FreeBSD to OpenBSD, and another one which is a huge milestone and is very important for me. Is, the, uh, is that the libva and the implementation of VAPI, which is a video acceleration API, has been ported to OpenBSD. This is important for the Intel graphic owners. That means, at some point, if not now, we should be able to use the graphic hardware acceleration for video processing, meaning that if we want to do video encoding, recording something with the FFmpeg. I haven't yet tested to see whether it, this feature comes out of the box or one needs to recompile FFmpeg and enable some VAPI related flags. And I'm not sure whether something in between is also missing. But that is possible. I have done it long time ago on my ThinkPad T430 around a couple of years ago, like two years ago, I found uh, an, an old port of VAPI for OpenBSC kind of unfinished and I managed to compile that and also I had to recompile FFmpeg with VAPI with VAPI related flags enabled and then I could actually record uh, via uh, record uh, with FFmpeg that uses uh, hardware acceleration. However, since ThinkPad T430 graphic is quite weak, the hardware -like acceleration wasn't that good, meaning that the, the coloration wasn't very smooth, and also I think there was like some aliasing issues in the text, etc. I, I have also even recorded and uploaded, surprisingly, couple of those videos to YouTube, 
but I didn't go further to kind of create a tutorial about it because I thought that kind of doesn't bring much of value. But maybe I should have done it. Nonetheless, on the bug fixes, we have quite a bit of uh, SNDIO daemon bug fixes related to the crashing. So that should give us more a stable audio experience on OpenBSD. And moving on uh, to the installer section, now for RISC V, we have UEFI boot protocol support. And also, Apple machines can now boot from USB Type A when you do the installation. And for a security improvement, now RPC Info has the pledge and unveil added to it. And also for the pledge uh, audio, we have the audio get dev. That's an interesting and new improvement to the pledge. And if we go down, what we have? All right, so OpenBSD 7.6 is shipped with Chromium 128 Genome 46 KD Plasma 614. Mozilla Firefox 130, Node.js 20, and XFCE 418. That's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Have a great time. Cheers. I want to thank all of the amazing Patreon and Coffee supporters. Your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content. Thanks again for your generosity and contribution.